Welcome to Little John's Yarn. I'm Alicia. Thank you for joining me here today, all of you. As usually, I like to talk about uh, Ask the Welcome. So where are you from, what time it is, and what's the temperature like where you're at? Right now, I'm in near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's about a nice, cool 74 degrees. And once again, it's approaching that sweater weather. Thank goodness. So I got my sweater on here today. And if you like the sweater, of course, I know somebody's going to ask. So I left that link down in the description box below. So let's see where everybody's from. I see we have one of my favorites here, our moderator, Dieta here. She is here today. Let's see. And we had a couple people here five minutes before it started. So I want to say, hey, what's up to Amy, Katie, and Gigi for saying hi extra early. I appreciate that. And who else is here? We have, oh, Katie's from Liverpool. That is so awesome. We got um, Renette from Germany. Gigi is from Connecticut. Shannon is from Canada. That is so awesome. All right. So as usual, I have my trusty notes right here. So I know exactly what's going on. So I don't forget. Okay. Usually I use my live stream as my weekend vent of what going on, went on throughout the week. So I'm going to tell you this really funny story. Last, before we get into our topic about crochet sweaters and whatnot, don't worry, we're going to get there. I don't know if you happen to watch my live stream last week. I mentioned that um, on March 14th of next year, I'm leaving my day job. I work as a, uh, I work with children with intellectual disabilities. I do that during the night shift. And so I decided Little John Yarns is finally making enough money where I can leave my job. And I was going to keep it secret for a little bit because I thought nobody watches my YouTube channel except fellow crocheters. But amazingly, my supervisor and two other of my coworkers were all watching the live stream. So I guess the cat's out of the bag. So we'll find out all about that. And right now we're going to chop, hop into the ha, ha, ugh, tongue tied happy mail. I had received happy mail from, let's see, Charlize. All right. I hope you don't mind, Charlize. I'm just going to read a little bit of your email. So this says, she said, I just want to thank you so much for your content that you create. And also your book is so good. By the way, guys, I wrote a book. I have started following all your recommendations for the last month and my sales have doubled, if not more. I am thankful for everything. I'm watching you and your energy keeps me motivated and you have a great personality. Thank you so much for your videos. And now I'm connected to J-Hope Crochet. That's Reggie. That's another one of our moderators. She has a YouTube channel, so make sure you check her out. And Shanna and so many others. It has opened up so many possibilities. Congratulations, Charlize. I'm so proud of you for doubling your crochet sales. That is so big. To me, it's like the most important thing in the world where I can give information to help other crocheters make money doing what they love. And because of this, the book that I wrote, it is called The Secret to Selling Crochet. I am offering it free just for today. So anybody who wants that book, it is down in the description box. Let me show you what the book it is. And whoop, wrong one, sorry. Where did I put my book? There it is. The secret to selling crochet. You can find it on Amazon for free right now. And if you are out outside of the U.S., you can still purchase it. Unfortunately, through the link that I provided, you can't purchase it. Just Google uh, how to sell crochet. And I'm probably one of the uh, first five ones. So look for this book right now. I'm offering it absolutely free. And also just for you guys, Charlize gave me an excellent tip on stacking uh, sales on my Etsy with a coupon code. So I want to thank her so much for that tip. So I'm offering you guys a sale on my Etsy stock right now in my Etsy tongue twister right now in my Etsy shop. All my patterns are 50 percent off. But just for everyone here, I am offering an extra 30 percent on top of that 50 percent off my patterns. If you use the coupon code, my faves, I'm going to type this in the comment box, my faves. That is in all caps, M Y F A V S. So you receive an extra 30% on top of that 40%, 50% on the coupon codes. 
That makes sense. I hope I didn't leave a tongue twister. All right, so now we're getting close to the starting up everything for the uh, sweater roundup that I'm talking about today. But before we do, as usual, if you'd like to donate via this uh, live stream, you can donate through Super Chat. To do that, you'll notice the little dollar sign to the uh, this side of your screen. If you're on your desktop, if you're on your mobile, you'll notice a dollar screen down below. When you click that, you can donate. When you do donate, the bubbles will go off and the lights will go off and you'll have a chance to spend the wheel of stuff. So when you spend, you have an opportunity to win a $5 Amazon gift card or any one of the patterns from my crochet shop for free. So that's that. We got all the formalities out the way. So now let's hop into this roundup. So I'm going to have a total of 12 patterns that we're going to look at. But before we get to the patterns, I'm going to ask you a question. And this question, I want you to type out in the comments for your answer, but put little question marks ahead of it so I know exactly what it is. I'll go through three patterns and then we'll get to your question. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you'll understand as we go. So let's see. The first question, I lost my first question already. I need to put these together so much better. So, okay, I found it. The first question, what scares you the most about making Wait. I got a super chat and the things didn't go off. What the? Okay, it just went off now. Who did that? That is, let's scroll, 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 scroll. I got two super chats. We got one from Cheryl Large. Thank you so much. And we have another one from who? It's not coming up. Where's the other super chat? Come on, I see it's unapologetic mocha. Get the book, it's awesome. Thank you so much. So the bubbles are going off, the lights went off. And to both of you, I'm gonna give you a cheers. Mm. Let me turn off these bubbles before my back gets soaking wet. So first we're gonna do Cheryl. You're gonna spin the wheel of stuff. Okay, Cheryl. You landed on the funky crochet hat. I'll show you exactly what that is right now. Let me take you to my Etsy shop. The funky crochet hat, I believe is on my first page. Oh, maybe it's not, it's on the second page. There it, hold on, make sure I brought up the screen share, I did. Sometimes I forget to put up my screen share. There it is, this hat right here. So thank you so much for donating. So next, my girl Mocha, let's see what you get. Oh. And make sure you email me so you can receive your pattern because there's no way of me finding you on YouTube. So email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. We got another super chat. Okay, we're going to get to you next. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Who's that? Oh, PJ. What's up, PJ? Thank you for always joining me on my uh, lives. Okay, ready, Mocha? Okay, you got the granny hat. Let me show you what the granny hat is. I'll bring up my Etsy shop. Please be on this page. Of course, it's not on the second page. My granny stitch hat right here. So bring you back. And PJ, you're next. Wait, let me bring up yours. PJ, did you get the pic of the headband I sent? I just love your channel. Send it again right now. So at the very end, I'm going to do a little uh, field trip. So I'll give you guys a hint ahead of time. You can email me a picture of if you created any crochet sweaters, send me an email right now. And I'm going to take a uh, field trip into my email inbox so we can show everybody the things that you made. But PJ, thank you. Send it again. Sometimes things get so lost. I get a lot of emails. So cheers to you, PJ. And thank you for donating. Let's see. PJ landed on a yellow and you get the flower slouchy hat. Let me take off your thing. Share screen. And the flower slouchy hat. There it is right here. Thank goodness it's on the first page so I don't have to skip around. So guys, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. This thing is so slippery, full of bubbles. Woo! 
Okay, where was I? Oh, the first question is, what scares you about creating crochet clothing? So make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can see it so the question pops out. So we're going to get into the very first pattern. Is this my, web? why is my web page up here? I'm not supposed to be here. Okay, here we go. Number one, this is called the Granny Square Sweater. This statement sweater is a bohemian's dream. I love the pop of the colors and the fun fringe hems. The colors, would you, what colors would you choose for yours? Which colors would you decide on? You're definitely going to want to post a few pics of this one. All right, check this out. All this is, is a bunch of granny squares. I know a lot of people are so afraid of clothing, but you know what? If you can make granny squares and piece them together, look at that. Let's see. If I just want to see one of the granny squares up close. Can you see it? It almost looked like, is it a starburst crochet stitch? Looks like a starburst, uh, tongue tied, starburst granny square almost. That is super cute. All right, the next one. Oh, I love Soella. She's like my spirit animal. She's the one that inspired me to do all these crochet videos and patterns. This is called the Everyday Cotton Cardigan. Wrap yourself up for a fun brunch with friends or a chilly office. Uh, you'll never guess this was made in simple rectangles. This is definitely a perfect beginner's pat. Uh, if you ever just started now venture into patterns, this is perfect for beginners. So let's scroll down and look at some of these pictures. See this, I'll need a closer picture so I can show you exactly what the rectangles are. Okay, here it is. Don't be afraid. Can you make a scarf? Listen, you can make this right here. Here's a rectangle. Your body shapes the card again. This is so easy. What is this made in? Uh oh, we have a super chat. Let's wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Who donated? The bubbles is getting my back. I can't see. So much like Mimi. I love all your videos. Thank you so much. Let me get this button off. Everybody, raise your cup. Oh, what are you drinking right now? I don't know if I'm like the only one who likes to talk about crochet and drink wine. It's what keeps me calm. So, oh, cheers to so much like Mimi. Let me put my cup down and we're going to spin. Ready, Mimi? Yellow. This is the granny sweater. Actually, the sweater I got on right now. At any of you guys who won or not won, but donated via Super Chat, if you do not want the pattern that you won, you have the option of choosing this one. So that's going to be the thing. You can have this pattern or anything that you spin. So, oh, I should probably give you an up close personal look at this pattern. Let me see. Okay, check it out. Isn't this super cute? And don't think I'm naked. I have a tank top on underneath it. <laughs> okay, let's hop back into this and make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Where was I? We did this one. We did so Ella. So now we're on number three. And remember, guys, make sure you answer the question, what scares you about making crochet clothing? This is called the sum of its parts pullover. There's just something about this bat wing sweater that makes me want to curl up with a book and a drink. You guys know I love wine. It's cozy and adorable, and it's available in size extra small up to 5X. I love a crochet designer that gives more patterns than, wait, wait, make sure. Okay, I'm still on the uh, screen share. Oops. I love a crochet designer that does more than a size large pattern. So thank you very much. Most only go up to like maybe a 3X. This pattern looks complicated, but it's actually not. Let's see if we can pull down where she maps out the pattern. She gives this excellent diagram on how this is made. Oh, here it is. The diagram is kind of big. Can I shrink this a little bit? There we go. All right. I know this looks confusing. So you can see right here, this is the head hole. Right here is where the waist is. And these are the arms for the, ho the, the holes for the arms right here. So this will be connected together. So this is where your hands go. This is where your hands go. And this is the back of the sweater. Let me scroll up so I can piece it together again. 
So the bottom of the sweater and the that top part that you've seen is right here. I'll show one more time. This is the bottom of the sweater. Bottom, bottom, arms. It's not as complicated as you think. There's very minimal sewing. So definitely love that pattern. All right, let's hop back in. So the question that I did ask is, what scares you the most about making crochet clothing? And if anybody happens to uh, donate via PayPal, the lights doesn't go off, but I got smart. I added a notification on my phone. So if you happen to donate via PayPal, instead of Super Chat, my phone notifications will go off. So let's scroll up and see some of the answers that you replied to. Let's see. Mm -mm. Yes, measurements. I should have added this in the end, but if you're worried about measurements, go to the Craft Yarn Council. They have a basic measurement chart on how to make it extra large, on how to make a 3X, on how to make it extra small. It all works out. But I have to give you guys a tip. When you're crocheting sweaters, I had to learn the hard way. Let's say whatever material you use and you crochet something that needs to be 30 inches long. Don't crochet something that is exactly 30 inches long. Oop, pause right there. I hope I don't forget. I see we have a super chat. Oh, I love your name. Sugar and Mocha. Thank you so much. Let's raise the class. You have the best live crochet related videos. Yay. Cheers to you. I try to keep this entertaining. I still get amazed people listen to me talking about crochet. <laughs> my husband looks at my videos like, why are people watching this? You got to be a part of the like yarn club to truly love this. But cheers to you. Mm. So let's get the wheel of patterns. Sugar and mocha, don't forget to email me. The links for my emails and stuff is all in the description box below. Okay, you get the crochet loafers. Let me show you what those are. Oh, and if you guys are worried about how can I find these crochet patterns, don't worry. I wrote a blog post for this whole pattern roundup, the blog post. Is down below so let me show you what the crochet screen share for that crochet loafers these ones are actually pretty popular right here and guys if you want it and you don't want to donate via super chat you can probably get it even cheaper by going to my shop everything is 50 percent off and if you use the coupon code my faves all cap m y f a v s <laughs> you'll get an additional 30% off. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for donating. Make sure you email me. Okay, let's see the next one. I wrote up the. Ooh, I don't mean to have favorites. I don't mean to have favorites, but the people who come back every week, they happen to, you know, pop out at me. So David says, I've started keeping record of gauge with specific yarn stitches and hooks. Now what? That's a game changing tip right there. I should really do that. When I create um, patterns from my uh, Addy Circular Knitter, if you don't know what that is, Google Circular Knitters. It'll change your life. If you can't knit, this machine knits for you. But I used to keep a record of what yarns work with that and what the gauge is. I don't know why I've never thought about it for doing it for random yarns, but genius idea. Oh, I see. Uh, who is here? Let's see. Kyla says getting the sizing correct. Like I said, that is difficult. Oh, I was talking about how yarns stretch. So this goes along with how getting the size correct. Let's say you have a, a something that needs to be exactly 30 inches long. If you crochet your uh, top that's exactly 30 inches long, don't forget about the stretch and the weight of the material. Me personally, I've noticed a sweater can stretch up to two inches once I put it on. So make sure 
you, you know, gauge for that. Most pattern designers, if their pattern is good, they put this adjustment into it. But just remember about that. All right. Let's see who else. More get Virgie. Virgie said getting the right fit. That is difficult. Picking colors. I have this one tool. I don't know where it is. I got all my tools like stashed over here. This. I did not link this down in the description box below. We're about to go on a field trip for this one. This is... No, we're going to go on a field trip maybe after we go through this because I realized on a replay, people come here just for the crochet patterns. And when I deviate, it gets a little crazy. I don't care. I'm going to deviate. It's my channel. This is called the color selector. I am color incompetent. I cannot match colors for anything like this sweater. Look at these colors. They're matching perfectly. My husband and kids got to tell me what yarns to put together. When I was little, I just couldn't match. But this thing right here is called a kaleidoscope. It's almost like a, not kaleidoscope, it's a kaleidoscope with a T. A kaleidoscope takes little pieces inside and takes the colors and make them into a pattern. But a kaleidoscope, when you view through it, you see a pattern of all the colors mixed together. It doesn't make sense, but it helps me select colors for my pattern. Okay, I can't help it. We're going to go on a field trip so you can see exactly what this thing does. Let's see if I can find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, craft gadget, gadget review. Hold on, let me make sure I screen. Okay, I did share my screen. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Maybe I should put in Little John Yarn. Little John's Yarn. And it should be crochet gadgets. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, guys. Uh, da, 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 it's what I do all type of crochet gadget reviews. As you can see, I'm like taking up the first page. Where is it? Well, let me go into here. This thing is the best thing ever. I can't find it. Where is it in my gadget reviews? Do, do, do. If I can see it, if I come on gadget review, where are you? Found it. Yes. Is it on yet? Oh, that's the live stream of me doing it. That's weird. Maybe I can find it. Yes, I can. Okay. The way you do it, you line up three or four uh, skeins of yarn together, and then you pair through this kaleidoscope. Okay. According to the instructions, you take three to four colors. I just picked any random colors, and you place them all next to each other so they pretty much intersect. Like there that. We go. Let me take this. Uh, Actually, just a and when you look through, look at it. When you look through it, it looks so just like a crochet is, pattern. Oh, there it is. Now you can see it a little bit better. Doesn't that look? You can imagine what your crochet pattern can be look like when you uh before you even make it. Oh, hello, husband. My husband just got home. Hey, sugar baby. So, if you are color incompetent, this is called the color scope. Look for it on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them. Unfortunately, I didn't put a link down below. I didn't realize that question to be asked. But if you are color incompetent like me, make sure you go try it. Cheers for that one, Kayla. Hmm. And I'll look for one more question. Let's see. Do, do, do. <laughs> This is a good one. Wasted investment and energy. I feel you. Crafty Chats, oh, and welcome back. You're becoming one of my favorites too because I'm always seeing you there. Thank you so much and cheers. I sometimes avoid making clothes all the time. It takes, I like a nice quick project. You know, give me a scarf, give me a hat, give me some mittens. I like that instant gratification. And sometimes, sweaters and cardigans can take a lot of time but when i do make them 
like this one. I absolutely, oh, we got another super chat. Who super chatted? Let's see, let's scroll. From Barbara Martin, thanks for the book. Oh, you're welcome and cheers. Let me kick these lights off. Everybody raise your cup and give her cheers. Oh. So, and the book she's talking about right now, if you're just joining me, I'm offering my how to sell crochet for free, my ebook. The link is down in the description box below. The only thing I ask is after you read it, leave a review. I would appreciate it so much. So let's see what you get. You get just the green, it's stopped. It is the Rasta hat. There's a funny story behind this Rasta hat. Let's show you it first. Here we go. This hat right here. This is a picture, like make sure I, I pull up the screen share, I did. This is a picture of my husband. My husband was so amazed. If you Google right now, crochet Rasta hat, he's one of the first two images that will pop up. So he felt like he was like the most famous guy in the whole wide world. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyards at gmail.com. Okay, there we go. So I guess we should hop back into the next part. We've been chit-chatting a long time. All right, so we are on number four. Let me close some of these out. And pull up my screen share. All right, next we are, I hope I pronounced this right. We're gonna look at the Gangsy sweater. Working this richly textured sweater. Oh, I forgot to ask the question. The next question, sorry friends, forgive me. The next question, how many crochet tops have you made? Let me know. When you respond, make sure you put question marks right before it so I know to bring up your uh, question so everybody can see it. So how many crochet tops have you made? So next we're gonna look at the Gangsy sweater. Working this richly textured sweater sideways results in a slimming vertical lines. Such a clever idea from a pattern designer. My favorite aspect of this sweater is the wide neck. All right, so I just wanna, am I the only one that gets like their head stuck in a sweater? So I kind of appreciate the wide necks. Actually, my favorite are the boat neck sweaters. The wider the neck or V-neck, I love it. Unfortunately, this one this doesn't show any techniques. So. I wonder if I can get this even closer so we can really look at it, so I can analyze it. I can see from this sweater, it's just made in simple rectangles. Is this up and down rows or back and forth? I can't tell, but it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so the next sweater we're gonna look at. This is called the homegirl sweater, but since I think homegirl needs to be retired, I'm gonna call this the boyfriend sweater. <laughs> Choose comfort with this extra long oversized sweater. Pair it with your favorite jeans or leggings for the easiest crochet fall outfit ever. Maybe even add a little cute hat like the designer did. The designer of this is called Made, Made with Crochet. I don't know, like I said, the name, I thought the name homegirl sweater had to go because Listen, who uses that anymore? This sweater is so cute. I can already see it's made in back and forth rows, like up and down, row one, two, three, four, over and over. This is super cute. I love oversized sweaters because I love to look like, I don't know, a sack of potatoes and cover up the way I'm shaped. I'm just wearing it like that. And the colors is gorgeous. I'm, okay, I'm gonna be nosy. What yarn is this? I'm scrolling past, forgive me. Oh, look at her son, she's so cute. Okay, where is the yarn? We got what you'll need. Oh, DK yarn. I'm always so afraid to work with DK yarn. I think the big fear of working with DK yarn is that the uh, crochet item will take longer to make. So I'm always like a size four and up girl, but don't be afraid of this. I need to start venturing outside of my, uh, Cro anything, you know, three and under fair and try something new. All right, let's go into our third. One of my favorite designers, you can find her on YouTube also. Her name is T.L. Yarncrafts. Absolutely love her. If anybody can contact her and tell her I would love her on my channel, let her know. She's like one of my favorite crochet designers. But this is called the Sedona Sweater. Uh-oh, we have a super chat. 
let me bring up my nugget and see who it is. Bubbles, bubbles. Boiling trouble. It is Halloween. <gasps> yes. Oh, I didn't see your comments. Let me turn this off real quick. This is the amazing woman who doubled her crochet sales. Everybody, please. Let me wait, wait, wait. I didn't pull up her comment. Her. Wait. Charlize. Okay, I have to remember in my head. It's written out phonetically. Charlize, she has her own crochet shop. She's been selling her stuff online. And she told me that she doubled her sales by following my book. Thank you. She says everyone grabbed a book. So give a cheers to Charlize. Oh, wait. How you pronounce your name? Charlize Stitches. Listen, after about four more uh, sips of these, I'll probably slur the name of your shop so much. There's too many SHs in it, but I love it though. Charlize Stitches. Everybody, cheers. So let's pull out the wheel of fun and see what you get. You landed on the orange, and this is my messy bun hat. Let's see. Let's check my shop. We got another super chat, but we're going to see that in a second. Where's my messy bun hat? So hard to multitask. Do I not have my messy bun hat up here? It must not be for sale. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, messy bun. I know I have my messy bun in here. Do, do, do. There it is. I have two messy buns. I didn't describe which one. So it is up to you. You can either pick out this crow. Wait. I screen shared. Sometimes I don't. Okay. You can either have my marshmallow stitch messy bun hat. Or the Mobius Twist Messy Bun Hat. So it's your choice. Make sure you email me below. Let's see who was the next person who super chatted. My man, David. Wait, wait. Guys, how did I lose my wine glass? David, where's my wine glass? There it is. It's right behind me. <laughs> just because I love attention. You know what? You deserve attention. Thank you so much. And cheers to you. I'm starting to wonder what you, what, what do you really look like? I love your little thumbnail icon. Hmm. So we got your chairs. So we're going to spin the wheel of patterns. I would love somebody to win the $5 gift card. So David, right now, cross your fingers and see if you're going to win the $5 gift card. Come on, my $5 gift card. I would love to get. Oh, okay. Close. You get landed on a yellow. You get the flower uh, slouchy hat. I think somebody already won that right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. There it is, the flower slouchy hat. So make sure you email me, Mr. David. Wait, wait. We got another super chat. I missed it. How did I miss? Wait, oh, wait. How did I miss this? Oh, Dieta. Wait, is that, wait, was that a super chat? No, wrong one. Jacqueline Green, thank you so much. Everybody, raise your glass to Jacqueline. Wait, let me pull this up and give her a cheers. Mm. So what am I forgetting? Oh, the, ew, the wheel of fun. There's like sucking cups on the bottom of these. You get the granny hat. The granny hat. Somebody else already won, but of course, anybody can win it. This is the pink one on my Etsy shop. Where is it? Grant. There it is. The granny stitch hat. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm so glad, like during the summer, the humidity gets so bad and my hair usually swells by the end of the live stream but it's all working out. So where was I? We did that sweater. We did the homegirl sweater, which is I renamed to a uh, <laughs> boyfriend sweater. And we were on TL Yarn Crafts, one of my favorite crocheters. Like I said, if you guys know her, please tell her to contact me because I'm fangirling over this. 
This sweater is super cute. Did I read what it was? Where was I on my list? I have everything written out that I want to read. Uh, the Sedona sweater. Shop your stash for a few partial skeins of different colors and get ready to practice your Tunisian crochet with Simply Striped Sweater. It's totally customizable and available in small to 3X. All right. I'm beginning to notice like TL Yarncraft is the queen of Tunisian crochet. I love the look of Tunisian crochet, but I fear the process of Tunisian crochet. Yes, I can do the basic stitches. Have I ever created anything using it? No, because uh, I'm a double, half double crochet and up girl. But if you love this type of stuff, look how gorgeous this is. You know how many skeins of scrap yarn I got laying around? Tons. That is so beautiful. Let's see if she has any um, makeup pictures. You know the process of pictures on how you create the item. Okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, that's how you do the stitches. See, personally, I like to see uh, projects as they're made. So you can see what it looks like when you're done with the front panel, when you're doing the back panel, when you're done the arm. I like to see pictures at each step. All right, so the next one. We were, oh, actually, it's time to go back to our question. We just finished the sixth one. So, how many crochet tops have you made? Me personally, in my lifetime, I've probably only made 10 crochet tops. Well, more than 10 take crochet tops, but 10, like, well, no, is it maybe 10 crochet tops? Yeah, that's it. I'm not an expert, but I fear the time it takes to make crochet items. I like that quick production of a hat. If I know I make a hat, I know within an hour and a half, two hours, I'm going to be done. To me, for crocheters, that's like instant gratification. But this kind of goes back to when I was speaking about what are some of your fears of crocheting. For me, my fear was how to create a pattern. Like this crochet sweater, this is going to be our excellent example. Don't be afraid of sweaters. I'm even me as a crochet designer, I'm terrified of some more complicated. But once you start it, it's not as scary. Like this sweater right now. I'm going to stand up. This is a granny square. Where's the center of the granny square? I got, as I point at my belly button, <laughs> we got another super chat. Let's see who's super chatting. Wait, wait, wait. Patricia Freeland. Wait, wait. Did I miss a super chat? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you all your credit in two seconds. Did I get everybody? No, I did not. Jacqueline Green, first, you get all the love and credit right now. So we're going to give you a cheers. Thank you so much for your super chat donations. Cheers. Oh, check out my cup. It says crochet and wine is little John times. This was a gift from Shanna uh, Givens. She is the crochet stitching diva. She is like the graph gan queen. I had her on here a couple weeks ago on my YouTube channel. And she had this cute, huge goblet wine. I'm like, where'd you get that cup? And she got one for me since I'm always an alcoholic on my live streams. Uh, the suction cup is worse because it's so bubbly. So, here we go. You landed on the yellow. You got the granny sweater. The granny sweater is actually what I'm wearing right now. And anybody who want that one who donated via Super Chat, if the item that you spun you don't like, you have the option of choosing this pattern also. So you can find this. You can email me. <laughs> at Little John Yarn, so you can receive your pattern for free. So let's get back to my next person that I missed. I'm so sorry, Patricia Freeland. Love uh, the crochet community, the best people. You and TL Yarncrafts are my favorite. Listen, TL Yarncrafts, if she would like just nod her head at me and pop passing, I would probably pass out. She is one of my favorite crochet designers. Her work is so beautiful and detailed. The fact that she makes any patterns in Tunisian crochet is insane. Just when I look at the 
the size of a Tunisian crochet stitch, I get angry because it's so small. Just saying. Okay. So, oh, we we're back to the question. So, how many crochet sweaters have you made? Scroll up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Did anybody answer that question? I must have missed it. Am I scrolling too fast, too far? Oh, this might be an old one, so I don't know. I'm just going to pull it up. This is called Crochet Chick. My fair, this is one of the past questions. My fair is most, fair is most crochet sweater patterns have difficult stitches and instructions can't understand. That is a problem with a lot of people face when they're following like a written pattern. Some people are visual learners. You know what? I'm a visual learner too. Luckily, I'm not bashing any other crochet designers because it takes a lot of skill and math to be a crochet designer. But with most of the patterns that I create, there's always a video tutorial to go along with it, no matter what. So if you're stuck on row four and you don't know what to do, you can go to my video tutorial and work with it at the same time I do. I offer I burped. I'm sorry. I'm drinking wine. I offer uh, a free pattern on my blog, but on my blog, you'll see advertisements. If you don't want to look at advertisements, advertisements, and you want to download it, I offer a paid alternative on my Etsy shop. So, but I also offer with that a free YouTube tutorial so you can work through all the stitches. Discover the world of finger weight yarn. I know I need to. I got some beautiful yarn. Where is it from? Where is it? It was from, uh, I can't find it. Some beautiful yarn from Whisper SDI. It is some finger weight yarn. And I don't know what to do with it. I've just been looking at it. It's been like a decoration on the side of my like craft room. So, mm. all right, let's see. How many pad, um, clothing items have you guys made? Mm -hmm. Did nobody answer this question? Wait, I see somebody from un one of my favorites. Straight stitch Tunisian is the same length as half double crochet. See, listen, you're teaching me something new right now. Straight stitch Tunisian is the same as length as half double crochet. I'm going to have to try that one. I, I don't have my pencil. Oh, I hope I remember that one. I have to try it. Thank you so much, Mocha. So Maggie, how did your one sweater turn out? I know when I completed my very first sweater, I was on top of the world, creating it in the little sections, you know, it seems like it's taking so long, but when you finally get done, you're done weaving all those ends and you put it on, I felt like the clouds, the skies opened and like a bright light shone upon me. Like, oh, your sweater is done. It's like the best. I don't know. I'm weird. I am. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, I seen somebody put none. Wait, who put none? Oh, I can't find it. Wait. Zero for me. Are you afraid of sweaters like I used to be? Don't be. They're not as bad. If you remember the first three sweaters that I shown, they're all basic squares and whatnot. I'm going to bring up one of my sweaters. Let me pull this off. Like the sweater I got on right now. This, this use this horrible lighting of a picture. But listen, all I made, don't look at this white part right here. I made a granny square. That's it. And then I made back and forth rows reducing on one side to make that V-neck. And then I made a rectangle. My body shapes the pattern. All this is is squares and rectangle. Nothing, nothing complicated. The shape of the shoulders. Oh, my knee's been getting bad. My 40th birthday is coming up on October 25th and I'm starting to uh, feel it. <laughs> I go to slouch and my knees are bad, but the shoulders are naturally shaped. Look, this is part, like, here we go. Where's the seam at? This is part of the square and my shoulders naturally shape it. Sweaters aren't that scary. Give it a try. Oh, I shook my table. Do you guys see? When I do my live streams, I don't match. I'm like business on top, 
leggings on the bottom that don't match, but you weren't supposed to see that. Okay. Does the tool work for multicolored yarns? Yes. Yes. The trick to that weird little cool tool, when you put the three yarns together, it takes each individual color and makes it in a pattern. So you can look through it and see if those colors work together. If not, you place three more colors together and look through the tool and see if it works. Katie says, I have made none. I prefer dresses instead. You know what? Katie, cheers. Dresses are more complicated, not complicated. When I make dresses, if I've made a dress, I have to reduce on the waist. The way my body is shaped is, I don't want to say too extreme. How can I put it? I got a big butt compared to my waist. So if I make anything too blocky, I'll have this big gap in my clothes. So I have issues with that. So if I can make a pattern for myself to fit for me, I have difficulties adjusting. Let's say she's like, oh, girl, I like that pattern. Alicia, do you have a pattern for that? No, I have difficulties adjusting uh, more figure fitting patterns for other people. I can make it for myself, but I don't know how to adjust it to make it for other people. Mm. <gasps> Wait, somebody says I didn't spin for Patricia. I'm so sorry. I forgot about it. Thank you so much, Pat. Pat, I'm going to spin for you too. I appreciate that. First for Patricia. We got the funky crochet hat. Well, we're going to do two at the same time. And for Pat. Or somebody got a win the $5 gift card. The messy butt hat. So I'm going to show you both at the same time. Pull this down. Thank you, Pat. If I forget anybody's super chat or something like that, just bombard me with a lot of questions or say, Alicia, you missed it. It doesn't bother me. Please, I would rather you do that than me miss somebody's uh, comment or super chat. So we got the funky crochet hat and what was the other one? I forget. Where's the funky crochet hat? There's the funky crochet hat and I already forgot the other one. But if you remember, you can pick whatever you want from the, uh, my uh, Etsy shop right now. And guys, uh, just a reminder, you can always donate via Super Chat. To do that, you'll see a little button to this side if you're on your desktop. And if you're on your mobile down below, you can donate via Super Chat. Also, if you don't want to donate via Super Chat, you can donate via PayPal. That link is down in the description box below. Lights will go off and you'll have a chance to spin the wheel of patterns to see what you win. That is a lot. Mm. So let's see. We should probably, we're already 48 minutes in. Where am I at? I'm only on pattern number seven. I better speed up. I'm so sorry. All right. Where was I? We finished TL Yarn Craft. The next question before this, what type of yarn do you like to use when making a sweater? So when you answer this question, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I'm able to see and your question or your answer pops out. So what type of yarn do you use when making a sweater or do you like to use when making a sweater? Screen share. All right, this is called the Brooklyn Chunky Sweater. Crochet sweaters made from the top down are my favorite because there's no sewing and you can try, to, try it on as you go. Try your hands at making this top-down sweater with this crop chunky, crop, <laughs> uh, tongue tied and drinking, crop chunky sweater. This is another one. If This is my type of sweater right here. Look at these big gigantic stitches. Look at this gorgeous thick yarn and look at the simplicity of it. Love it. Top-down sweaters, you work from the neck and then you work your way down. There is no sewing involved. For those who have not created sweaters, let's see if, I hope she has uh, as you go pictures. Ooh, look at that. Let me close advertisements. This is one of the sweaters you can like crochet and watch a Netflix uh, movie. 
does she have as you go pictures? Oh man, I love as you go pictures. It lets you know if you're doing your item wrong or right or not. Oh, I wish she did, but it's technically simple. You just keep working in the round and then you stop where the sleeves are. So you're working the rounds normal like a hat, Blech, tongue twister, like a hat. When you get to the sleeves right here, you will like chant or leave the space open and connect closer to the bottom. Does that make sense? And then you'll continue to work in around the body. And last, you'll add the arms. I hope that makes sense. All right, the next one, I lost my phone so I can read you what I have to say. This is called the um, boyfriend cardigan. I, feel, I did name the other, it was a boyfriend sweater I renamed, but this is called the boyfriend cardigan. Let me see if I can scroll down and give you a better picture. Is this too big? There we go. Now you got a better view of it. If you're sitting here thinking, I don't know how to crochet a sweater, don't sweat it. This easy, relaxed fish cardigan was designed especially for beginners. So you can totally make this sweater. This is another sweater made in simple rectangles. If you can crochet a scarf, don't be afraid. Wait, did I make sure? Yes, I got it. I'm always scared. I just talking to you're looking at my face while I talk. Don't be afraid. You can make this. Let's pray that she has like as you go pictures. Please, please. Oh, look how cute this is though. Completed pictures, little pocket on the side, another simple rectangle. Okay, let's see if she has uh designer pictures as you go. <gasps> uh, it's not as you go, but you get to see what it looks like. Right here, rectangle, rectangle even back. Does that make sense? Rectangle, rectangle, square in the back, or that's more of a rectangle. A rectangle here, a rectangle over there. All you got to do is seam on the arms in the back and you're done. Next one. Ooh, this, I just want to rub my face against this one. I'm going to mispronounce this uh, sweater, the uh, Mesa Velvet Sweater Shirt Sweater. I'm a sucker for a kangaroo pouch like the one in this pullover sweatshirt. Don't you just love how cozy and cute it looks? A uh, monochrome color like this, uh, mustard yellow, will help you match your outfit much easier. Luckily, I have this yarn to show you so you can see up close. I had no intentions on making this sweater. I actually don't have enough yarn for this sweater, but you can see the yarn for it up close. I do love a kangaroo pouch. I think I need to design a pet's pattern with this pouch. Let's see. Let's pray that she has some as you go pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's the designer's name? Her name is One Dog Wolf. Love you for having as you go pictures. Look how simple this is. Okay, those are the arms. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, she shows you how to sew it on. Thank you. Any more as you go pictures? Oh, that's as much as you get as you go picture. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. Look at this. Not complicated. This, what she created right now, is a tube for the body. I didn't realize that was a tube. I thought it was going to be a front and back, two double pieces. But apparently, it's just one piece worked in the round for the uh, body of the sweater. I love teachers, designers that give instructions. All right, so back to my nugget. This yarn for that last one. I actually, I purchased it recently. Didn't know I'd be doing a roundup for this. This is called the Veil Lux yarn. I have not used it personally myself, but I just realized she's using the yarn that I happened to just buy. This is uh, like a velvet. It is so soft. I need to do a yarn review of this one. So I can't say I recommend this or this yarn will work great. And if you wash it, it'll fall apart. I don't know. So does any of you guys have you ever used this turn, 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 Violex yarn at all? Is it durable? That's the word I'm looking for. Is this durable to create a crochet sweater? I would hate to spend hours on making a beautiful sweatshirt or sweater and to put it in a wash machine and it like disintegrate. So, all right. What was my last question? I forget. What type of yarn do you like to make when crocheting a sweater? 
as you asked the question. I hope that you put a question mark ahead of it and then answered it so I'll be able to bring you up to the top. Do 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 scroll. Wait, wait, oh no. Sherry said, Miss, almost all your chat had trouble downloading your book. Thank you for the free book opportunity. I'm so sorry you had trouble downloading the book. I hope it works out. And if anybody, if you want the book and you happen to be out of the USA, just go on Amazon and Google how to sell crochet. You'll find the secret of selling crochet. And all of you right now, just for you, just for today, my book, The Secret to Selling Crochet is completely free. So you don't have to worry about buying it. The only thing I ask after you read the book, if you like it, leave a review. I'd appreciate it. And then also in my uh, crochet pattern shop, all of my patterns are 50% off. And if you want to purchase a pattern that's 50% off, just to you, for my favorite people who are watching my live stream, if you use the, uh, I'll put it in the chat, the coupon code MYFAVES, my faves. I'll put that in the chat right now, M-Y-V-A, I can't spell, M-Y-F-A-V-S, my faves, you'll get an additional 30% off. All right. Oh, there's trolls. Yeah. Deanna said, just want to remind everyone, there are trolls. Do not post personal information. Please don't. And oh, Deanna, if you find any trolls, if you, you probably already know this. If you see them, you can click on that them in the chat and block them. You are my moderator. You have the power to kick people out this group. I appreciate it. Okay, PJ, I've been following TL because I've been dating the Tunisian crochet. I'll send you a pic of the hat I made. I like the way you choose the word dating Tunisian crochet. I like that. Hmm. Here we go. All right. I would love to try and make my make me a sweater, but most of the patterns are in chunky yarn, and I couldn't wear something that warm in Australia. I need a tutorial for a tutorial for the with a finger and weight sweater. I had I think her name was Crystal on here one of my live streams a week ago, a month ago. She makes the most beautiful crochet sweaters I've ever seen. What is the name of her shop? I wish I listed it below. J Hook Crochet. If you happen to be still watching, what is Crystal's name and shop? She uses finger and weight yarn, and her items are gorgeous. Let's see. Uh, Jador. J J I know the last part's Adore. J'adore Le Crochet. <laughs> I butchered that up. Tunisian crochet is my favorite. I love the versatility that you can have with Tunisian crochet. I'm Since I don't do it too often, but I have been checking out TL Yarncraft's uh, website and all of her patterns. The texture and some of the stitches that you can pull off in the look of Tunisian crochet is amazing. It's gorgeous. It does not look crochet. I know I need to like, where's my wine? I know I need to venture out into bigger and better stitches. Not technically bigger, but different stitches. Oh, you can contact TL Yarn Craft by email if you want. I can give. Please, please, Reggie. I would love it. I'll I'll probably like write out an email and let it sit in my draft for about a week until I work up the nerve to press in like I'm going to do it. I know she's just a regular person who crochets and I don't know. I get fangirly all the time. So I'm going to try to email it. Thank you so much. Everybody cross your fingers and wish me luck. Wait, did I forget a soup? And don't forget the super sticker. Did I forget a super sticker? Did somebody super chat and I missed it? I hope not. I don't think I did. What? Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. Uh, <laughs> remember Alicia's birthday is October 25th to send her happy mail. Her post office box address is under her YouTube channel. And know what? 
if you don't want to send like happy mail through the post office box, you can also send a happy birthday wishes to my email address. That's fine too. That's so awesome. Thank you, uh, Deanna, for reminding people. I'm going to be the big 4-0. I think I finally feel like an adult. I don't feel like a 40-year-old adult. I feel like a 20-year-old that just became an adult. Do you ever feel like you, are you ever amazed that, wow, I've made it so many years. How did this happen? Why is it my body moving like I'm 15 years old anymore? Like my hip and knee has been hurting for the past like three months. It's killing me. <sighs> Random. All right. Oh, Kala. Kayla, does the tool also work for multi? Oh, that was an old one. I'm sorry. I'm way behind. What yarn did you use for the granny sweater? I use Kiron Simply Soft. Kiron Simply Soft is a yarn that you either love or hate. Kiron Simply Soft is a yarn that can turn into split city when you are working with it. That's why I love to use Susan Bates hook. See, Susan Bates hooks always snatches up all the stitches. But what I like about Caron Simply Soft is it's a mercerized yarn. What that, oh, we have a super chat. Where's my wine? Where's my stuff? Who's super chatting? I can't find it. Oh my goodness. Where are you? I'm so behind on the uh, chats. Fiber floozy. I love that. Everybody give a cheers to fiber floozy. Mm. All right. So fiber floozy, we're going to pull out the wheel of fun. Come on, $5 gift card. Somebody got to win this $5 gift card. All right. You also got the funky crochet hat. Somebody else just received that one. I'll show you what it looks like real quickly. Funky crochet hat. That's, that's my book I'm selling. Well, it's not selling. If you want the book, it's absolutely free. So the funky crochet hat is this, this, uh, this one right here. That hat was actually a request about two years ago for somebody who wanted like the Michael Jackson, well, I should say Michael Jackson, the Jackson 5 Applejack hat. So that was what I created from that. It has to do with front post double crochets and back post double crochets. It's a really cute hat. All right, so make sure you email me at littlejohnyards at gmail.com. Uh, the Mimi D, LOL, I'm 56 and I learn from you. I'm glad I can help with something, you know. Oh, so we got another super chat. I'm gonna have to fill up my wine soon. Let's see. From Kim Crochet and Knits. Thank you so much. Let me, why don't you know I put my cup back? <laughs> Excuse me. Got caught in my throat. So cheers to Kim. Thank you so much for your donation. Mm. I keep getting caught in my throat. So let's pull out the wheel of fun. My whole thing is so covered in bubbles. Can you see it? You probably can't see it. So let's see what you get, Kim. You get the great, it's like it's keep getting stuck on granny hat and funky hat, but you get a granny hat. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. And if you don't want a granny hat, you would prefer this sweater that I got on, just let me know and I will send you that pattern. You just need to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And here is the granny stitch hat. All right. I already forget what I was doing. Oh, I need to stop drinking while I work. All right. So I'm just going to hop into the next one. Right now, if you have crocheted any sweaters, I want you to email me right now with a picture of your crochet sweater. I want to go on a field trip so people can see what you created. It's going to be show off your work. So my email is littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. You can find that in the description box below. So right now, email me a picture of your granny square sweaters. All right, so we're gonna hop into the 10th sweater. There we go. We did that one. 
We did that one. What is this one? We did that one. All right, so I made it to the next one. This is called the Alpine Pon eh, bleh, Tongue Twister. Alpine Poncho Sweater. Make a statement with this lovely drapey poncho sweater. Geometry has never been my strong suit, but I think I can handle making five rectangles. Yep, there's no increasing or decreasing. All right, I need this side view of the sweater is what got me. I don't know if she's spinning or what, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Before I actually examined this sweater, I didn't realize it was five rectangles because this is the first picture I seen. I could not understand how it was made. <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's see. Love that. I like the little drapey neck right here. What type of neckline is that called? It's not a cow call or however you say it, C-O-W-L. My um, childhood speech impediment is picking up. Thank you. See, I'm going to give... If you know me, I'm a crochet gadget queen and I love to give reviews. If I can give this designer a review, I would give her five balls of yarn. Let me make sure. Okay, I did have up the screen share. I'll give her five balls of yarn. And when you see how something is worked up, your pre-created pattern, it makes it makes things so much more simpler. All you see, look, back and forth rows. This is just a rectangle. More rectangles. That's it to create this sweater. Can you do this? I can do this. I think this is going to be one of my next patterns. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. The next one we are going to look at, let me pull back up my phone, is called the Aurora's Women's Cardigan. I need all the pockets I can get when um, I'm wearing something. And this one has two comfy pockets in it. And once again, it's created in simple rectangles. What is this yarn? Okay, let's look at some of the other display pictures that she posted. Simple, gorgeous. I wish I can take product pictures for all of my patterns like this. When I'm taking pictures, it's like by a white wall next to my kitchen. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. I need some beautiful backgrounds like this. Uh, let's cross your fingers and see if she has like, as you go, pictures, cross, scroll, scroll. No, no, as you go, pictures. I think as you, oh, wait, here we, thank you. Thank you. Five balls of yarn. I love you as a crochet designer. This is more simple than I thought. Look at this, back and forth rows. Little slits, little slits, that's all. Oh my God, this is simple, super simple. Any more pictures? how to put on pockets. All right. So in the next one, number 12, one of our last sweaters. This is called the oversized turtleneck sweater. So this is for my visual learners. This turtleneck sweater features an instructional um, YouTube video. Grab some bulky yarn and a big old nine millimeter crochet hook and you have this sweater done in no time. Listen y'all, this is your girl's type of crochet sweater. Look how huge and juicy big these stitches are. I'm just going to play just a little bit of this. I feel like I can make Thank this in a day and be done. Channel. To make this oversized turtleneck sweater, you will need a bulky yarn. This was a weight five. I used, I think, seven balls of this yarn for a size Ooh. Four. And you will need... I love that. All right. So, back to me. What was the last? Oh, I wanted you to send me an email of all your awesome patterns. So let me go into my email right now, Gmail. See if anybody email. I hope I'm not like a loser and nobody emailed me. So I'm bringing up my email. Please, at least one person email me. Please, please, please. <gasps> we got some emails. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got a couple. Yay. All right. I'm going to pull up the screen share. Go into my email from PJ. That is PJ. Oh, wait, wait. Let me make sure. Okay, I did have a thing. What in the world stitch is that? And why is it so beautiful? What is that? What is this? PJ, right now, I'm going to hop out of this. I'm hoping you see 
what I'm saying and explain this stitch is absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful hat, PJ. The next person, <gasps> Barbara. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors that you use. And guys, look, Barbara got one of the sweaters that are, uh, do you have a dog that's trying to get away right now? <laughs> but, it's, but it's completely made in rectangles. Let's check out the next one. Oh, Barbara sent another one. Let's see. Oh, that same. Oh, you just sent it twice. Let me see. Mm -hmm. My boy, David. Oh, does that not a picture? I probably shouldn't read your email. Sorry. Do, do, do. Super chats, Barbara. Let's see. <gasps> oh, Barbara, what you making? That is gorgeous. That, what stitches? See, most people think like, oh, I can see a stitch. What stitch is this? I don't know. I love this. And is that a care on Simply Soft? That's definitely a mercerized yarn. Let me hop back over and see if I seen, uh, let's see. Whose was I looking for first? Give me a second. It was PJ's. Oh, she said, PJ said it was a Tunisian crochet hat. That first hat in the red and the white with that stitch, that is Tunisian crochet. When I'm talking about Tunisian crochet, it's just amazing and it doesn't look like regular crochet stitches. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It does not look like crochet stitches. So PJ, you get a cheers for that one. Beautiful. Let's hop back into my inbox. Oh, PJ says, you got this, you got this, you got this. It's Tunisian crochet. I'm, I'm so scared, but you are inspiring me to do my Tunisian crochet. Let's hop back in to see if you have a crochet sweater. Let me see it now so I can share it with the world. Just email me at littlejohnyards at gmail.com. Let's see. Here is another one from Tasha. <gasps> Shut the front door. I've been wanting to make a great, wait, hold on. I'm always scared. Did I? I did screen share. I've always wanted to make a granny square coat. Tasha, make sure when you answer this, put question marks in front of it. How many granny squares did this take? And where did you get your buttons? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. See, I am color incompetent. That's why I need that color scope to help me put colors together. I'll put pink and green and whatever together because it's horrible. Okay, <gasps> Virgie. What in the world? Wait, I have this crochet yarn bag, everybody. I love that yarn blast. Bought bass, yarn boss. I have that bag. I did a review on it. But this sweater, you get another OMG. OMG, cheers to you. This is absolutely gorgeous. You guys are like beyond my crochet sweater game completely. Beyond me, surpass me. <laughs> okay, um, Rhonda Rogers, let's see. Like I said, you guys are absolutely, is that a checkered bottom? Oh man, look at that. <gasps> wait, wait, there's another one. I didn't see the second one coming. See, I was just stuck on this one. I thought it was more of this one and I love the neckline. Let me see this one. I might have to make my page a little bit smaller. Why is that making it bigger? Maybe if I make it bigger, it'll make it smaller. Reverse psychology for my Gmail. I love that. That's a beautiful stitch. It looks like one of those stitches. If you mess up your count, answer me this with your question marks. Is this a stitch? If you mess up your count, it's like ruined forever. Love it. All right. Oh, we got another super chat. Who is super chatting us right now? Wait, wait. Let me scroll. I can't find it. I can't find it. <gasps> Lori Murphy. Hello. All glad I got here for a bit. Thank you so much, Lori Murphy. 
Lori, she is in the favorites category, definitely for sure. If you come watch my live stream at least three times, I remember you and you go in my favorite category. So Lori Murphy, you get a cheers. I think I need to fill up my wine glass. Mm. Ah. Today I am drinking, what is this? Franzia Chillable Red. I'm a sweet love drink, sweet love, sweet wine drinker. So let me fill this up. I'm always tickled how uh, pickled, that rhymes. I'm always tickled how pickled I am after all of my live streams. It's crazy. So let's get you on the wheel of patterns. Hmm. Okay. The suction cup is going. I gave you a good one, Lori. $5 gift card, $5 gift card. No $5 gift card, but you get the Goldie slippers. Thank goodness somebody got like a different pattern. I'm like, why does it keep landing on the same patterns over and over again? So the, wait, yes, I screen shared. I'm always so forgetful. Goldie slippers, here they are, the Goldie slippers. So make sure, Miss Lori, you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Back to my nugget. Oh, we were on a field trip. I get so lost and like, confused while I'm doing this. So here we go. Forgive me. All right. Let me shrink my page back down so it's not as huge. Inbox. So right now we are going on a field trip. <gasps> I have to jump ahead to 314. 314 is my absolute favorite number in the whole wide world. Don't worry. I'll get back to you, Rhonda. I promise. So this is from Elma. Oh, I like this. This is absolutely gorgeous. See, I like the way you paired it with a sweater. I mean, it's paired it with a skirt. I don't know how to dress for style. I wish somebody would teach me. And once again, guys, check it out. She didn't do anything complicated. These are just back and forth rows. Let's see. Bring it back to my nuggets. Somebody just donated. Let's see. Unapologetically Mocha sent you a photo of straight stitch Tunisian crochet. Boop, boop. We're going to find you, girl. You get the granny. Did you get the granny stitch hatch before? But you get the granny stitch hatch or Unapologetically Mocha. Let me know what you want and I will email it to you. Uh, let me get back into the thing so we can see if we can find yours. Okay, let's go back. We are going to go to Michelle. Ooh, what did Michelle send? Okay, another card again. This is gorgeous. Are you using a variegated yarn? Yeah, okay, I can tell. It is variegated yarn because I can tell from the color transition right there. For all of you color and competent girls and men out there, variegated yarn will do all of the work for you. This is gorgeous. Let's see. Here's, here you go. Mocha. <gasps> what is this? Look at this color. Ooh, gorgeous. <gasps> is that a bag? You take great pic. I need to see if I can. I realized when I. Enlarge the picture gets smaller, which is weird. Once again, what yarn is this? This is gorgeous. Okay, let me pop back just in case you told me what yarn it not. Oh, ask another person a question. Say what? 314 Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the win. One. I love 314. It's my absolute favorite number. And what does it have to do with Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Because growing up, when I was like a teenager, I obsessively watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That is like my thing. I love Halloween. I guess because my birthday's near Halloween. I love those type of things and vampire and spooky and anything that's like super girl power. I'm strange. Okay, let's see. Did I miss anything? 
Oh, thank you, Jador. I'm just butchering name, but thank you. I am Rhonda. Both of those tops are done in Tunisian crochet. Stitch count matters. Sometimes, have you ever done something like the pineapple stitch and you weren't paying attention and your pineapple is like this? It's horrible. All right, let's hop back in. If you have any crochet sweaters you want me to show to the world, email me at littlejohnyarns.com. And also, if you'd like to donate via Super Chat, you can do that down below or on the side, depending on your mobile or computer. And the bells and whistles will go off and we'll spin the wheel of fun. Tongue twister. Okay, let's shrink my page back down and see what else everybody has. Back down, down. There we go. Inbox. <gasps> Bitch and Stitches. I love just saying your name. And Bitch and Stitches has made it into one of my favorite categories. Because she's been here more than three times. Come on now, Bitch and Stitches. This is gorgeous. Wait, did I share screen? I did. This is gorgeous. Look at the color combination. Where's the second picture? Up close. Look how she transitioned the colors. You get a cheers for this one. Cheers to this beautiful, beautiful cardigan. Okay, let's see. My website is updated. Katrina. Oh, what the world, Katrina? What is this? I don't know what happened with yours, Katrina, but something weird happened. I don't know. Did you like... Uh, I don't know what that was. That was weird. So if you sent the picture, I don't know what happened, Katrina, because that was crazy. I don't think I want to open it because it looks scary. All right. So Barbara. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Let's see. What? Here we go. Camara. Let's see what she created. Oh, look at this fall uh, sweater. Is this for a child? This is so cute. What yarn is that? That looks like a number five weight yarn. I cannot tell. Usually I can get Rain Man with it and tell what brand of yarn it is. But this is like a thick, plush, luscious yarn. Is it Lion brand? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Did anybody else send any pictures? Let's see if we're going to be wrapping this up soon. We have three more. Oh, Reggie sent the picture, but we'll get to yours in a second, Reggie. I get excited. I'm sorry. <gasps> Gorgeous. Love the colors. How do you figure out how to combine colors? How do you know? How do you not just ruin a sweater? I'm just always so afraid. This is such a gorgeous pattern. Once again, simple. What is this? Double crochets. Gorgeous. Let's see Reggie's, aka J Hook Crochet, YouTuber, pattern designer extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know the name of this. This was, was uh, you just came out with this one. It was something called cool, like, uh, what is it? We are going to go on a field trip to find Reggie's pattern. Oh, look, this stuff is still playing. J Book Crochet. I was just looking at this pattern the other day. Here we go. Guys, make sure you subscribe to her um, channel. She has the most excellent tutorials. You see, I knew it was new. Sheer ward a cape. That's why I was thinking it was like a Robin Hood something. That is so cute. Let's see. Let me pull up the YouTube. Do you model it in your YouTube tutorial? I hope so. Oh, yes. Pause. Look at this. That is gorgeous. See, she picked a beautiful stitch. Is this also rectangles again? Don't be afraid. I'm playing it some more, don't mind me. Take this beautiful cape. It can be worn as a long cardigan, as a nice cape or with a scarf in the front. There are many, many possibilities on how you can style this, as you can see in the pictures. So let's move on and I'll show you everything you need to. Reggie, aka J Hook Crochet, this needs to have a million views. 
This is the most gorgeous sweater cape I have ever seen. You are so talented. You get like five balls of yarn and like a sip of wine. Where's my wine? I'm always losing it. Cheers to you. That was beautiful. So cheers. So let's see who else we were supposed to be looking at. We have two more, I believe. Wait, wait, I missed another one for Reggie. I like this one too. This is gorgeous. She has another tutorial. That's the great thing. When Reggie posts something, you can find a tutorial for it. So make sure you go to J Hook Crochet so you can make this pattern. I need this. I need something to wear for my uh, birthday weekend. My husband, are you okay in there? That's okay. My husband's dropping stuff everywhere. Oh, can you do a favor for me, husband? Can you show people the beautiful hat you have on? You, you're, you're the most handsome man in the world. Look, this is a hat I made. Look how handsome he is. I love my husband. <laughs> mm. Mwah, I love him. I'm little John Yarns. He's little John Eats. I'm still trying to get him to get his own YouTube page, YouTube channel though, but I'm going to get him to get there. Don't you guys worry. All right, so who else sent something? Inbox. Oh, we got more. We got more. Barbara. Beautiful. I love that. Once again, how do you guys figure out how to make uh, colors? I love the babies. That is so gorgeous. And he is so cute. They're such a little babies. I'm sorry. When I see babies, I feel like I have to talk like in a child's voice. It's weird. Forgive me. <gasps> Look at this sweater. See, another crochet card again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love this. Who sent this? I don't know your name. I just see there's a, well, maybe I shouldn't have your, is that a phone number? Sorry. After the tutorial, uh, not tutorial, after this live stream, I'll try to blur out what I just, people seen. So nobody's like weird and calling you. Okay, and Kayla, what have you been making, Kayla? I see your um, <laughs> holiday festive. Where's my wine so I can look at this and talk about it? Gorgeous. See what else you sent? Beautiful hat. And some more, um, what are these fingerless gloves? Fingerless gloves, when I sold crochet, was one of my biggest sellers. And I love to sell it because it was quick and easy. Okay, is did I make it through everybody? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, I got Michelle. I got Lori. Oh, Lori Murphy. Those are all the ones I got, I believe. All right, let's bring it back to my nugget. All right, guys, I'm pretty much going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this live stream, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also, right now, only until... 11.59 tonight, you can grab my ebook for absolutely free. If you want to learn how to make money selling crochet online, get the book. It's free. I am officially leaving my job as of March 14th, 3.14, which is my favorite number. I managed to do that from the very first time I picked up a hook to sell, which was 2015, which I didn't know what I was doing, till now. 2020, I'm going to be leaving my job. I'm done. If you want to learn how to do that, that ebook is down below for absolutely free. And if you also like to purchase any of the patterns from you seen during this live stream, check my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is having to sell. Everything is 50% off. And just for you, you can use the coupon code. I'll type it in. Here we go. My faves. Well, I did it wrong. It's supposed to be all capitalized. I didn't do it. If you use the coupon code my faves, all capitalized, M-Y-F-A-V-S, you'll get an additional 30% off. So right now, get the ebook for free. All I ask, if you like the book, please leave a, leave a review after you read it and see if it helps you. Um, our girl, Charlize, who has her own uh, crochet business, said she doubled her income after following some of the tips that I've given her to help increase her crochet income. So make sure you grab that. All right, guys, I hope you wait. 
I see something. Wait, from Crafty Chats. Reference to the final episode of her second boyfriend, the soldier guy, forget his name. Big monster made by scientists hidden in the room 314, I think. Thank you for my 314 reference. I appreciate that. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this live stream, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll check you next week. And we'll have another live stream and we'll do all the same things again. All right, guys. See ya.